please subscribe to help you and your motorcycle perform better. All right, our topic this week is four coil. We're going to go a little bit longer than normal um, in terms of the segment before we go to Q&A because there's a lot to cover. So let's dive into this, much as we do every week. In front of me, we have a nice array of blends, weights, and manufacturers of four coil. So, so in this instance, if we're talking about cartridge forks, we are going to remove our back row out of the way. These oils obviously are engineered specifically for performance and durability, so they last a long time. But if you look at these three oils on an oil viscosity index table, they are actually quite different. Now, again, from my experience, when I was racing up in Oregon with an SC, SV650 with the stock fork, an emulator, springs and preload spacers, in general, I would run 20 weight oil in the fork. However, if it got above 80 degrees, this didn't cut it. When it comes, it will swell slightly. When it does that, it scrapes on the inside of the fork, producing a metal paste. Now you can see how big the holes, the holes, not the slots, the holes are in this piston. That you can imagine how much oil can flow forwards and backwards through that piston. Now, let's change that for a stock piston. It's almost like a, a needle hole. It's that small. So, there's a comparison of the picture we took earlier. You can't see the holes in the compression piston, they're that small. So, what that means is that all that metal particulate and debris in the bottom of the fork itself sits in that piston and gets pounded into it. As you model, shock oil, one race season, 14 race weekends. So, now I'm going to get really messy, so let's get the rubber gloves on. No proctology joke. That, as you can see in the ratio right jar, is far from blue. Far from it. We will show you shortly, Mr. Williams, as to precisely what color blue it was. On to the questions. Rails Dash One, you had a yellow spring Jixa 1000 shock you were playing with last week. I put the same shock on my second generation SV650 last year. The damping adjustment makes no noticeable change in suspension action whatsoever for compression and rebound. Is it broken or just valve wrong? In parentheses, the shock does feel more planted than a stock SV shock. Yes, it will. JL Unlimited. Does the four coil and spring weight have to match in any way? What is the equation? Boiniku, are there there are so many different brands of oil out there. How do we decide what to use? Is it just personal preference or are some brands better than others, etc.? Long Dog Racing. My race setup, per the direction of my suspension guy, calls for 30 weight in my SV650. Does that sound too heavy, even though I feel it works great? I have springs and weight and emulators. Trick Orange 10R, if you are running what you believe is the correct weight oil, what indicators dictate a possible change to a different weight? Hmm. Boiniku, is there any way to slow down the amount of metal coming off the spring and into the oil? Wow, we got another 30 questions. Catch the full video at DaveMossTuning.com.